Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decal. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Legacy United Hound. And this decal set includes three decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. I also picked up a Hound rifle from the Toy Hacks Armory. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Hound both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Hound looks great and very faithful to his original animated counterpart from G1. Now taking a closer look at the figure, starting with the head sculpt, I love the powder blue painted eyes right there. He's got kind of a light green face. Here on the chest, we got the painted headlights. We got the lights right there, yellow star, red Autobot insignia. Moving on down to the arms, we got some yellow around the forearms yellow here on his waist. Moving on down, we've got gray on the toes. So he really doesn't have a lot of paint applications, but what he does have looks pretty good. But I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does to him. So there you go, guys. Hound in robot mode before and after. Hound now has this nice new g one look thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting with the head, we've got brand new eye decals, which are a nice chrome blue. On top of the chest, we have a new gold decal that outlines the entire top right there. The front of the chest, we've got new light decals here and here, new light decals here and here, and new star decals right there on the side. He also gets a vanity license plate. You do have options. I went with Hound, and you do have another right there. I don't know what that is. Handsome? Full? Help me out in the comments. I can't figure that one out. Back to Hound. He's got new decals on the shoulders and new Autobot decals as well. You do have options. You have the white outline decal, or you can do one with black. Now the instructions on Toy Hacks' site say to put this decal right here on the crotch. I liked it on the shoulders better, so that's why mine looks different if you look it up online. Let's see, moving on down to the forearms, we got new decals right there. There is a decal that you put underneath to fill the section out a little bit before you put the red and silver decal on, but it's really easy to do. There's new decals here on the side, if I get that to focus in, right there and there on the other side. He has new red decals for his knees, new decals right here that go on the side of the shins, and that's about it. I think that looks really good on Ham. Nice new update. Now let's take a look at the rifle I got from the Toy Hacks Armory. Looks just like his G1 rifle. I love the looks of that. Nice silver. Uh, it's really nice and smooth too. Toy Hacks makes some great weapons. If you haven't uh, checked any of those out, please do. I've got a link in the description of this video. They make some awesome updates of G1 weaponry for your modern figures. So let's go ahead and put that in Hound's hand and take a look at him. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. So there you go guys, Hound in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Hound still looks really good, but he is lacking a lot of paint details that he had in robot mode. Now taking a closer look at the vehicle, we've got the nice painted powder blue window right there and all of the paint applications that you saw on the robot chest are front and center on the front of the vehicle. He does have some really nice looking wheels right there. Love the rims. 
and let's see that's pretty much it for paint applications the sculpted detail looks really good but vehicle mode is just lacking a little bit when it comes to details of course i'm sure toy hacks is going to fix that so there you go guys hell in vehicle mode before and after and i must say hound's vehicle mode looks so much better now thanks to toy hacks taking a closer look at the vehicle a lot of the ones you see here on the front we've already seen in robot mode but here on top we have a brand new star and a new autobot insignia you do have options you have the black outline insignia right there or the one with white i like the white we also got a brand new windshield decal that's a darker blue that has a nice shine to it along with some stars there on the top. On the side of the vehicle we got decals here, here, and here that are very g one ified Behind the wheels we got some silver decals. Now in order to put those on you do need to pop the wheel off first, apply the decals, snap the wheel back in place. It's no big deal because the wheels do clip in. We've got some gold decals right here along the side. On the back we've got the decals that we saw in robot mode's legs and the back of the vehicle we've got some tail lights now. So Toy Hacks you did an outstanding job. I love the looks of this now. So there you go guys. Hound in vehicle mode after. Toy Hacks, as usual, knocked it out of the park with their decal set for Transformers Legacy United Hound. I love it when they create G1 toy inspired decals for the modern G1 animated style figures. It's just a combination that works. It's like chocolate and peanut butter. The Toy Hacks Armory Weapon, man, that's icing on the cake. I love what they did with that, and it just makes Legacy United Hound look so much better. So if you happen to have Legacy United Hound in your collection, I highly recommend this decal set and weapon from ToyHacks.com. And don't forget, when you visit Toy Hacks, to use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. But be advised, that code does end at the end of the month. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it is your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!